version of the Canadian Destroyer versus the Whippy books. Whipper Billy oh, Watson man. for the CCW Heavyweight title. The Ontario version of the Canadian Championship. Originally part of the WWCA's history, CCW, the Canadian Championship Wrestling, January 27th, 1950 from the Ottawa Ontar Auditorium in Ottawa, Ontario. Thirty-four-year-old Canadian hero Whippy Bill, Whipper Billy Watson, taking on, coming just a couple days after he lost the NWA British Empire Heavyweight Title to Yvonne Robert, he comes to Ottawa with a chance to win the Ottawa version of the Heavyweight Title. Not much was known about the Canadian Destroyer at the time. Apparently born in Calgary, Alberta, but raised in Mexico, he had been trained in the style of lucha libre. Eleven hundred and four fans were in attendance. As both men gave all for over 50 minutes. I don't expect this to actually last 50 minutes, as this is the reimagined version. Originally, Billy Watson won the match in 29 seconds. The following contest is and it is for the Championship. Making his way to the ring. Since this is the first video of the WWCA Legacy Series, let me real quick explain what it is. It is a fan fiction company based on people I know. I subscribe to a private Facebook group. The history goes back before this actual start of the writing, going back to the Canadian Championship Wrestling in 1950, which was started by my grandfather, Edmund Davis. Edmund Vincent, sorry. Okay, Whipper Billy Watson is a real historical figure in wrestling. I know I'm talking over Jerry the King Lawler, Bradshaw, and Michael Coble, let's be honest. Only Lawler was alive in 1950 anyway. I really doubt Bradshaw was, because if he was, then he was in his late 40s when he made it famous, so I doubt that he was alive then. All right. Oddly enough, the WWE 2K17 video game would not allow me to upload the name Whipper as part of Watson's name because it was offensive. So, I don't know what is offensive about Whipper, but let me make sure I say that I do not mean to offend anybody by using the word Whipper. Just so you know. Clifford Billy Watson was born June 25th, 1915. And there's the bell. The two superstars tie up. Destroyer puts Watson on his shoulders and drops him with a face buster. Stomping to the gut. Knee to the back. Stomping to the back. Hooks Watson's arm up. Oh, and drives the foot into the elbow. Watson's on his feet. Going for a suplex now. Nope. Watson reverses to a Northern Lights bridging. It eh, does not bridge. Let's him up. Watson picks the destroyer up. Bear hug. Belly to belly suplex. Stri drives the destroyer's arm into the mat. Drops the knee right on his face. Drops the big leg. Oh, destroyer takes Watson down with a leg sweep. Oh wait, wait, let me planted him. 
Watson slamming Destroyer down, arm ring in the arm. Going for the DDT, which was not used in 1950, but hey, this is a video game. Waiting for the Destroyer to move. Drives a boot right into his gluteus maximus. He's got him in the sleeper. That's his finisher. This could be it. Do we have a new champion? No. With a jerk. Drops down to his backside, driving his head right into Watson's neck. Fireman carry takedown. Trying to whip. Destroyer reverses it. Whips Watson in the corner. Oh, Watson with a boot to get out. Donkey punch to the back of the head. Going for a suplex. And he drops a big leg, the Hogan leg drop. Destroyer taking his time. He's going to climb to the middle rope. And he comes off with a sledgehammer. Misses the stomp, Watson's up. Goes for the stunner, but misses it. Fighting for leverage, whips the Destroyer face first in the turnbuckle. And he's going to put him up on the top rope. What does Whipper Billy Watson have playing? Oh, Destroyer with the elbow. And he just drops down off the top rope. Whips Destroyer face first in the turnbuckle again. Slow moving from Watson. Both men trying to get battle back and forth. Northern Light Suplex. Releases it. Picks the Destroyer up. Going for a snap DDT. I don't know why Watson's taking his time. Stomp to the back of the head. Letting the destroyer get to his feet. This is the kind of thing that annoys me about video games. He's put him in the sleeper hold again. The whipper Billy Watson sleeper hold. And another jaw jacker to Watson. <laughs> Drops him gut first on his knee with a gut buster. Waiting. Going for the fireman's carry. The airplane spin. The Canadian Destroyer's finishing hold. Can he get Watson dizzy enough? Drops him down. Drags him to the center of the ring. Do we have a new champion? No, he takes time to wave to the crowd. And he's not going to fall through the pin. Go for the finisher, but don't pin. Spear. Shoulder block. Watson misses with a punch. Drives him down with a John Cena suplex. Kick to the gut. Orton stomp, you could say. Or Garvin stomp if you're old enough to remember that. Destroyer waiting. He's got him in the sleeper hold. He stole Watson's own finisher. Could he win the title? No, John Jackson from Watson. Well, I suppose you you counter a finisher twice in a match. The other guy's going to know those for a knee breaker. Oh, and, oh, of course, because one of the Los Matadores was alive in 1950. I don't know how to shut that off. Judge Ecker coming down with a diving neck breaker. Destroyer's gonna lock him in a stump puller. Looks like Watson was tapping, but the ref didn't see it. Watson breaks free. Snap bear takedown. And now he's gonna lock him in kind of a leg lock, but Watson's in. Watson get out, he does. He escapes. Fireman's carry. Destroyer elbows his way out of it. Destroyer now going for the DDT. Drives him. Plants him, you could say. Goes for the pin. One, two, and Watson kicks out. The Canadian Destroyer wondering what he's got to do to keep Whipper Billy Watson down. Stomps him to the gut. Drops the Hogan leg drop again. Waiting for Watson to get up this time. Because nothing says wrestling like waiting for your opponent to get up. Fireman's carry. The airplane spin for the second time in the match. The fans are going nuts. They've never seen a Canadian destroyer before, but they're going nuts. Goes for the pin. One. Two. And Watson kicks out. Remember, Watson won the match originally. Watson won the match originally with the sleeper hold. Tries to whip Watson into the 
tor turnbuckle. Canadian Destroyer now. Oh, Watson reverses it. Watson goes head first into the turnbuckle. Up Northern Light Suplex. <clears throat> Drives him head first with a DDT. Just try to ignore the Los Matador member at the ringside. Hopefully he doesn't do anything to interfere. They're getting chippy now, almost 10 minutes into the match. Watson scoops him up and slams him down. Goes for the pinfall, hooks the leg. Two and three. Nope, oh, I miscounted. That was typical Michael Cole right there. Wasn't paying attention. Watson waiting for Destroyer to get up. Got him in the sleeper hole. Third time the charm. No, and what? Destroyer once again breaks out. Boy, this video game finishers don't mean nothing in this video game, do they? Destroyer whips Whipper into the corner and drives a knee into the gut. Drives another one. Holds on. Going for the Canadian's leg sweep. Yes, I went to the school of Joey Styles. Drives him home with a DDT. The Destroyer waiting now, staring, trying to remember what his next line is. Maybe the Destroyer has a concussion. Waiting for Watson to get up. Taking his time. Tries to grab it air. Now stops at the back. Well, I don't know who choreographed this match, but... Got him up. Third time the charm on the airplane spin. Drops him down, goes for the pin. Do we have a new champion? One, two, three. And history has been changed as the Canadian Destroyer wins the Canadian Heavyweight Championship Ottawa version. Here's some replays as Watson drove Destroyer head first with a DDT. Comes back with another DDT. Destroyer now goes for a pinfall. Gets a two count. Yeah, how about a DDC from the Destroyer? Because always highlights are always good. Airplane spin. We didn't see any highlights from it. Just the end. Referee way out of position. Looking at Destroyer's knee. And the Canadian Destroyer is your first ever CCW heavyweight champion. Okay, now I'm not sure going forward if I'm going to be able to, uh, if I have to take the title off of Destroyer physically to get it on Watson, because I, I want to do the Legacy series as if it was written, just because the match in the playlist is wrong. I'm not going to rewrite my entire history that I... That was the first match of the WWCA Legacy series. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will, as hopefully my commentary wasn't too annoying, I'll work on it. As we go forward, I will give you what happened in the real match, and then we'll watch the fake match, or the reimagined match. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, this is Vinny Vincent, your owner of the WWCA, signing off.